think the fact that we can go through a 270 mile an hour crash like that and not get a scratch uh, shows that we're pretty safe at those speeds. Some of the racetracks that we are running uh, aren't equipped to handle these speeds. They were built somewhat years ago when cars were uh, basically running 200 miles an hour and we're running almost 100 miles an hour faster and you still got the same amount of area to shut them down. That's one of the more difficult jobs of driving these cars is to shut them down after a run. We're working on a formula to just uh, slow down the progress a bit. There's been a great degree of concern among the insurance uh, people about the uh, rapid approach of 300 mile an hour race cars and we just need to uh, approach those speeds cautiously and we're trying to put the brakes on uh, moderately to, to just to slow down that process. Give a drag racer a little bit of room and they're going to find a way. They'll find a way to go quicker and faster. I'd like to see the first 300 mile an hour. The cars have all kept up. The technology is there. Uh, just some of the racetracks have not kept up. Well, I don't like it, but what we're trying to do is find ways to circumvent it or work around it. In other words, we'll do uh, everything that we can within the new rules to still try to go faster. Uh, admittedly, a lot of the things they have will tend to slow us down, but uh, it's not going to keep the speeds from increasing forever. We'll find a way around it. Well, we're, we're hoping that we can pull it off. We know our back's against the wall, but uh, it'd probably be the ultimate uh, win of, of any world championship if we do pull this off after having two major uh, disasters like we have.